<laughs> this is how I do it. <laughs> you just, well, around the ball. Just around the ball there. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's having coming out of the ears. <laughs> <laughs> this is all wrong. No, no, more. You gotta have more enthusiasm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we have to feel it. It's fire. Be the fire. <laughs> so we cut off the lights. This is the weirdest 45 seconds you'll have to get up with us. We open the shutter, there's no light coming in, and then as they draw with the different lights, it makes shapes and patterns in the background. And then they get offset, and then I count down, pop the flash, and then the player gets lit up, and then I close the exposure off, close the shutter, and then we have the resulting picture. And then I have it set up uh, with a uh, tether to the laptop, so as we shoot, it comes into the laptop, and the players and I can see what's going on, see if the exposure was a good one, and then we can move on to the next frame. One. Again, three, two, one. So for uh, the media date, we chose to do light painting this year. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different. <laughs> All right, guys, here's going to come the flash. I found my calling. Ready, three, two, one, bright light. So we chose to do light painting. And so we made a variety of tools uh, and, and altered some commercial tools. These are light wands that you get at Party City. They're like $4. And originally they looked like this one here with the red and the orange LEDs. So I took one apart and soldered blue LEDs in so we'd have all blue light. And what this light does is when you make swoops or circles behind, it creates, you know, arcs of light behind the player. Uh, second light is I went to the hardware store and I bought a couple of LED and neon under car light kits that they sell to put on your car. And typically these run on 12 volts. So I went to Skycraft and I got a project box and I got a double A holder. So if you do your math, eight double A's is equivalent to 12 volts. So because they only had 10 double A holders, I bought a 10 double A battery pack that's inside of these and then jump or two of the cells and then there's just a simple on off switch and some foam in here. And so about 30 minutes worth of work. And these are really pretty reasonable. These are about $15. Uh, with the box, you're around like $22. That's cool. I like that. Do one more, but let's keep the I like that flame like lower. Yeah. Do like this, so, and then when I'll you try. both cut them on, just kind of keep them straight. Is it easier for to hold it as one? Yeah. Here, I'll just try to, I'll, I'll go with you, all right? Go ahead. This is an LED light bar. Again, it's a 12 volt light bar. I got these at Academy. They sell them for kayaks. This is also $14. And this is wired up in the same way with, with eight double A's. And then the only difference was on this one, we found that it's so bright, it's almost overpowering. And so instead of uh, just an on-off switch, we also added a momentary switch that makes it light up only as you hold it down to make it easier to make some different shapes and, and geometric patterns and stuff in the background. So like you could hold it up and do light bars. The, la the last light we have is, this is an EL wire. It's electroluminescent wire. You can get them at most party shops. And what this does is it's kind of a faint light, but as you move it around over the long exposure, it creates almost a flame effect because you get the bright highlight of the coil, but then the motion creates kind of a blur of light. And so it ends up creating a really interesting effect.